The USD women's basketball team off to a 6-4 and four start this year, almost done with non-conference play, and head coach Don Plitzel-White joining me now to talk a little bit more about where things are at. Don, uh, we talked in the preseason. It, much has been made about this schedule that you all put together for yourselves uh, this year, and, and obviously it was every bit the grind that you expected it to be. But I guess my first question would be, how much better off do you think you are through all that? Well, when you play five power fives in your first seven games, then the mid-major teams that are on your schedule are really, really tough. It shows up as an incredible challenge for you. But I think we have learned a great, great deal about ourselves at this point in time. This team that we have that has an identity to be just, an, uh, I think, a great defensive team. And we're figuring things out offensively. Mm -hmm. You know, we're getting good shots. We need to be more efficient. But defensively, we're spending a lot of energy. And, and things are going really well on that end for us at, at this point in time the best that we've had a chance to defend up till this point in time in our season out of any team that we've coached here and you've talked a lot about how important it is just to learn about yourself I think every coach wants to learn about themselves during the non-conference season what stands out and you mentioned defense and I know you and I have talked a little bit about that specifically but other than that, is there anything else that you've learned about this group to this point? Well, this group is really hungry. They're a highly, highly competitive group of young ladies. They've stayed together through a very challenging set of circumstances, not only the, the level of competition that we're playing, the travel that we've had, uh, that those type of really difficult situations can either make things really frustrating for your team or they can grow your team closer together. And our team has grown closer together through all of it. Trying to interject new players into that that super three that you've got in Hannah, Chloe, and Liv. And, and those three certainly have continued to do their thing like, like everybody has expected. As you've built around them or tried to figure out how to, to use the pieces to complement what they bring each and every night, how is that process coming along, and and who has stood out to you to this point as as someone that's that's been extremely valuable? Certainly, Maddie Krull and Kaya Watson are two young ladies who have started and who've given us some very very good minutes and have continued to develop and grow their games. But Natalie Mazurik off the bench has played really really well for us. Janai Ugovsky is someone who creates a lot of hustle plays and extra opportunities for us. Grace Larkins is a young lady, is a true freshman who is starting to really feel what it is. It's like it, at this level and is playing, I think, her last game against Valpo was, you know, her best game. She's really looking to kind of continue to build upon that. Macy Giebert's also a young lady who, who we anticipate is going to continue to grow her game. So those are a couple of them. Morgan Hansen's been out, unfortunately, with an injury, hoping to get her back in the not-too-distant future, too. How about Kaya? And, and Kaya's a person that's played certainly significant minutes for you every when she's been available, but the key is last year she had to miss a lot of time due to injury. Does it, does it in some ways feel like she's still a freshman just working through some things and trying to get adjusted to the game as it moves along for her? Well, absolutely. I mean, last year when she really started to kind of come into her own was probably right around at Christmas time, yeah. and then all of a sudden she's out, and she was out until the NCAA tournament game against Oregon. So missed our entire conference season last year. And and now is, is really, again, starting to f figure out and feel comfortable in ways she can make a difference on the court. One more non-conference test for you coming up this week, and it's at Creighton. This is a program you have a lot of familiarity with. There's There's been kind of an established rivalry here in the non-conference part of the season. Have even seen the Blue Jays in the postseason at different times. Um, but that familiarity, how does that help? And, and what are you hoping to see out of this last non-conference game before we get into the, the Summit League schedule already here before Christmas? Well, first of all, our young ladies are finishing up with final exams and so this will be our first contest after our final exams are done and that's going to be really important for us because hopefully that's a time that we can really relax. I think this has been certainly playing games during finals or even before finals is very stressful for your student athletes and and so now when, by the time we get to that game we'll be through that. Prepping for Creighton is going to be a little different because we're right in the middle and Monday and Tuesday are our biggest days of, of final exams so that'll be a challenge for us and kind of trying to keep it as concise as possible which is challenging with Creighton. Creighton is a great basketball team, an outstanding program. Coach Flannery has done just a, an incredible job with that program. They've got some some young ladies who really can fill it up from deep. They have the ability to get to the rim. Uh, I think they play very good basketball in terms of how physical they are and how aggressive they are and how they finish plays. So discipline, tough, make life difficult for you to score. It's going to be a great challenge for us, but again, it's a, an opportunity for us to learn one more 
more time before we head into conference play. And again, conference play getting started before Christmas this year. That's a new part of the schedule. Uh, you open up at Oral Roberts at Kansas City. Always tough to open up on the road. So what are you expecting here at the beginning of league play? And how is all this going to transition or translate to what you've got in front of you with that? Well, the good news is in our non-conference, we've seen a number of different styles of play. And so we've we've learned how to make adjustments to those different styles, whether that's how, what they run offensively, what their transition break looks like, what they do in a half court, whether that's uh, defensively, how they, how they guard you. Are they in a man? Are they in a switching man? Are they in a zone? We've seen a lot of different looks at this point in time. And so hopefully that's prepared us well to go on the road and, and you know, play at a high level before Christmas, which is really important for us. All right. Well, good luck to you. Look forward to see how it all goes. Thank you.